Hey everybody, hope you can hear me over the hydroponic system. This is Mark Crawford with Sustainable Fruit of the Living and wanted to give you all an update on what we're doing to get ready for our fall garden. We're in our garden hoop structure. You can see the shade cloth up above and the, the vines which uh, really help us out in the summertime here in Texas. Um, one of the things we had to do was take our raised beds and lower them to the ground. Uh, if you look at our previous videos, you might have seen some shots of our raised beds. They were up on cinder blocks and uh, pallets. And the, these beds here had a, a wire mesh bottom stapled to them with a uh, plastic sheeting inside. That was a popular idea several years ago, about six years ago when we built them, seven years or so. And uh, that uh, eventually gave out the pallets deteriorated and um, so we went ahead and just pulled all pallets out with cinder blocks and, and dropped them as you see here on the ground. It's not actually on the ground like outside. Uh, below this is the fabric and then uh, uh, rock and we have pavers in the middle. But anyway, what I wanted to show you is uh, something we're going to try. It's, it's uh, kind of going around YouTube and popular is the is a core gardening. With a core gardening, is uh, putting something in the middle of your bed like this. Uh, this is uh, uh, old pine shavings, and what that does is once that's full of water, your soil will wick from that, so you don't have to water as much. Uh, it can cut down your watering quite a bit, and then here in Texas, uh, with the heat, we're that's a good thing for us. As y'all know, looking at, again, previous videos, we are on, we're totally on rainwater collection out here on the homestead. So uh, any way we can conserve water is, is good. Typically, core gardening is like pine shavings or straw or something like that. Um, now, from what I'm seeing is you, you, you typically want to use some, for instance, some straw that's been hanging around a while. I want to put that in there. Uh, and that'll soak up water, and then, like I said, the, the soil can wick it back up. If you put new materials in, it tends to not soak up the water as well. So, um, in this bed here, you can see the, the branches and twigs of some oak. Uh, here on our property, we have lots of post oak. So, I uh, wanted to try uh, a combination uh, of the core gardening and the kugel method. The kugel method is, the, of course, the branches, and uh, since we're in a raised bed, we're not going to do the mound type that you're seeing, but we're going to put the branches in the middle, cover them up with pine shavings, and uh, we'll do that all the way down there like I did this one. Once that's all covered up, then cover it up. I'm going to put the dirt back in, just like this one here. And then fill them up with the, the rest of the way with compost. Um, what we're using in these beds is a, 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 a compost soil that's actually made from chicken manure, and it's been working out real well, real real well for us. It's summer right now. It's August, and we're starting seedlings for our fall garden in the house. We've got kale, uh, arugula. I'm not sure what we all have. Uh, leaf lettuce, uh, chard, uh, lo lots of leafy greens, that sort of thing for fall, of course. And uh, those will be another few weeks in the house to get them uh, transplants going and or the seedlings. And once they're uh, large enough and been hardened, then we'll bring them out here and, and transplant them in the beds uh, around in the first part of September. Um, what we typically do is We'll plant some in the hydroponics system. Uh, I've got over here, and as you're seeing right now, we're just kind of getting it cleaned out and getting it ready. we still got to add water to it, uh, nutrients, um, and put the perlite in the tubes. This is an NFT system and basically operates like you see it here, where uh, the water just flows right down the tubes through the perlite, and, and it's great for... Uh, uh, your leafy greens, lettuces, and so forth. 
I wanted to give you all an update on how things are going. I also wanted to point out these uh, stringers here that we put on our hoops. Uh, we did that a while back. I don't think I've ever showed that in the video, but uh, the stringers are set right over the raised bed so that when we do tomatoes, we run the uh, strings down this way, and, and then we just run strings across and tie them loosely. Then the tomato plants can climb up the strings. Uh, and, and that's a, a lot cheaper than the, the baskets and the wire and stuff like that. And it's easier to harvest the tomatoes as well. Anyway, just wanted to give you a quick update, let you know what's going on. We, uh, I'm going to try to put out more videos to keep you abreast. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, we're all about sustainable, frugal living. Uh, we have uh, different DIY projects. You can check out our other videos. We're... Uh, we're learning as we go on a lot of these things. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below. If you uh, have advice, we'd love to hear your advice as well. Like I said, we, we try to keep op an open mind and keep learning, and we can all help each other with our what we uh, have done and what we've experienced. Um, so uh, until the next video, please subscribe, and God bless.